Hey everyone, it's Rob, aka Memory Lapse, again with some more uh, 8 rec footage for you guys. Um, really like magic, sort of grown up with it, and uh, it's never really gotten worse. It's only gotten better over the years. Um, so let's just take a look. This is uh, this game. I kind of have this video. Um, uploaded because I just want to show you uh, how well the deck works against random combo. Uh, this guy is playing what I later learned to realize is called Genesis Wave. I've never seen what he's he's coming at me with here. So I make some awful calls here. Um, so I guess that's kind of one of the things that um, you know rogue, de rogue decks uh, have, an, have an advantage for here. Um, which is that, you know, people don't know what to expect, so, you know, it kind of invites misplays. And I make one, like, I see, oh, he's got a Utopia Sprawl here, so I, I discard the Utopia Sprawl. I should have discarded the Genesis Wave, that's his main combo piece, but I guess I didn't realize it right away. Plus, with the Utopia Sprawl, he, he could have cast that on his forest, and then next turn I would have cast the Smallpox, and that would have crippled him. But, um... Dumb, dumb, dumb plays. Uh, I, I realized as soon as I did it that that was a dumb play. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, mistakes happen. So, you know, you get, the trick is to learn for him. I'm still, you know, able to destroy up his hand here pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of pissed at myself for not, because uh, that would have crippled him. The, the small pox on the Utopia Sprawl land would have been a really sweet play. But uh, it's okay. So moving on here. Uh, I play the Ensnaring Bridge at this point. Uh, I could play the Rack and the Small Pox and give up the Ensnaring Bridge. But I'd, I'm still... I have no idea what his uh, finishers are for something like that. I, I assume they're creature-based. So I hang on to the bridge... And uh, I don't really have any kind of uh, a threat, even if I did play the Pox and Rack at this point. So knowing when to play the stuff is, is important. So he gets his stupid Utopia Sprawl back anyway. Um, I guess he would have just got back the Genesis Wave anyway. But um, yeah, so it wasn't as dumb as it could have been maybe. But uh, I guess I should have either pitched the... Genesis wave or the witness one or the other so Again the small pox is not really um, Enough here, you know, I, I th This is what is mind rack in other versions of my deck So I, I kind of like to so it sometimes compare the cards one to one like I I'll think well if, if if this card was a mind rack would it have been better for me? Mm, it might have been against this deck so this would be like one case where it probably would have been better to have the mind rack. But, you know, there's been a lot of other cases where I prefer the smallpox. Ugh. So now I got two smallpox. It's pretty useless. Um, I have to cast one. What else am I going to do here? You know, he's got to start taking some rack damage. I need to empty my hand. Um, but I know he's got the Genesis wave. And he's got this Vernal Bloom, uh, which is essentially... Um, double his mana um so i kind of see where he's going with it now he, he gets a huge pile of mana real quick and he casts the genesis wave and then you know probably combos out off of that depending on how big of a wave he can get um oh, so he had to get rid of early harvest thank goodness uh, that's the last thing we need is a gigantic huge wet genesis wave um that would have ended it for me right there um, but I force him to do a, a regular Genesis wave. It's still pretty big. He's going to be able to do, uh, four, like five, six, nine, oh, God, it's huge. It's a six-point wave, so he'll get basically six free cards. Um, now the one kind of good thing, at least, is they, they don't go into his damn hand. Um, he just has to play them, but... 
he doesn't get the greatest rip, but he does get that damn eternal witness, which I did not want to see, because the witness will put the Genesis wave back in his hand, and he'll just be more, and the next one will definitely kill me. So what I need is either a land or a discard spell here. If I don't get one or the other, um, I'm done ski. He'll combo out the next turn easily. Um, but the I have good odds at getting one or the other. Um, you know, lands, obviously, you got the best odds for that. Again, Raven's Crime is such a workhorse. Just love that card. Um, so you so if I either get a land here or a, or a discard, I'm good. Um, and my odds are good. That's pretty much all the cards in my deck are either land or discard. So anything other than um, another finisher or ensnaring bridge, and I'm good. So I pick up the Inquisition, which thank goodness Genesis Wave is casting cost three CCs because now he's in big trouble. Now he's top decking. He can't do anything with his little critters. Um, he's got a million land and nothing to do with it. So he starts to try and protect himself with uh, by holding cards to to get rid of. Uh, but that's not going to help him. Not with my thoughts. You see, it's just never ending. This is hand control, guys. So even with some awful plays on my part, you know, some bonehead moves, he's done. He even if he waves here, I don't think he can win. He'd have to wave and kill me right in the same turn. Um, I'm sure he'll just scoop at this point. Uh, so, bad plays aside, the deck destroys combo. Um, you know, your random combo. Not, I'm not talking about like, um, you know, pod or, oh hell, what are the local combo decks now? I don't even know what, um. Things jumping out at me here. I'll show you the uh, some of the sideboarding I do. Uh, I he's not definitely not an aggro deck, so I just pitched the Geth's verdicts for a couple ley lines. Um, if I rip one on the opening hand, it'll shut off his eternal witness. So that's kind of good. Um, let's see. Um, what are the the combo decks being played? Twin. You'll see, I don't see it online very often anymore. Um, I see some, like, weak storm, and I see some weak eggs. Like, people are still trying to run both of these decks. Um, not so much in the tourney um, heads up or eight mans, but uh, I, yeah, I don't see that there too much. But uh, I guess you, if you want to consider infect a combo, um, you can kind of sometimes see that. Uh, scape shifts that you still will see. I have kind of a nice scape shift deck as well. I have a, uh, I, I go for the full, um, counter spell suite. Like, I, I use a lot of counter spells, including Dissipate, uh, an extremely underrated card. Um, and I, I just stall with counter spells until I hit seven land and go off. Um, it's not the most creative strategy ever, but it seems to work pretty good. Um, so I have got a killer hand here. He's got no chance. Um, I just lead with the Thoughtseize because he's not an aggro deck. Uh, there's only three copies of Thoughtseize in this deck. Um, maybe people might think that Thoughtseize would be an auto-include four of in a discard deck, but it's not great. Um, its downside is significant, and it's not great against, uh, you know, your red deck win. It's kind of a dead card. Like, I mean, you thought sees their lightning bolt. Well, you just spent one mana to save yourself one damage. It's not really super productive. Um, whereas, you know, the duress, which I rep here, you know, that's a... Uh, it kind of nullifies the, the red deck win. Uh, you know, you just start, they can't, they, they need a critical, red deck win needs a critical amount of, uh, of, of spells to, to threaten you. Cause once you get past like turn four or five, they're empty. Like if, if they, if they don't kill you then, you know, their, their odds start going way down. 
So, um, you see, I just summarily just took apart his hand. Um, he casts his stupid snakes. Um, now I drop two Shrieking Afflictions and put them on, you know, three and change turn timer. Um, and it's going to be even worse than that because I have a rack too, eight rack, baby. So I completely destroy his hand. Um, and then I just dump my racks. Um, and I did all this with two mana, guys. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I get a land here. I, I don't even have to play this land. I could have just um, held, held the land in my hand and played the rack and uh, played, uh, you know, save the, the land for a future a raven's crime. But, uh, whatever. Uh, I mean, I, you do, I could, I won this match, the second game too, with basically no relevant subs, um, from the sideboard, um, with two mana. So, it's not, you know, blue's great against combo, but blue needs mana. And, uh, this is a different approach to anti-combo so if you if you're if you have a combo heavy meta um you know consider seriously consider something like this um you know different metas may call for different splashes and different builds but uh yeah for your combo heavy meta highly recommend uh eight rack so go ahead thumbs up these videos uh post your comments sub if you like what i'm doing here and you want to see more um, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.